Well, for today's review, we have two premieres. For the first time, we see an aircraft model of Skyop Airlines in scale 500 from Harper Wings, and it is the very first 737-700 with split scimitars. So, of course, we have to take a closer look. And with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look, as I mentioned, at a 737-700 of Skyop Airlines. At the front of the box we have a cutout, so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside, and on top of the box we have the Skyop Airlines and the Shaktia Donetsk Football Club branding. Then on the back side of the box we have yet another cutout, unfortunately, so the only thing of interest here is simply the fact that this is a limited edition. And here she is, the Boeing 737-700 in the special Shaktiar Donetsk football club livery of Sky Up Airlines. The airline currently has two 737-700s in their fleet, and one of them features this rather elaborate livery. Now, as I mentioned right in the beginning of the video, this aircraft is also interesting because of a different fact, and that is that this aircraft comes with split scimitars, which is the first time Harper has added those to a 737-700 model. But I'm sure that there are many other interesting features of this aircraft model, and the best way to discover them is by taking a closer look. So let's start off with a look at the tail section, where we on the vertical stabilizer find the sky up branding. On the fuselage, we then have the writing of Sky Up Airlines, the full registration code of the aircraft, and towards the very tail of the aircraft, we also have a bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. Then at the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage, we have the Shakti Adonis Football Club crest, and we also find a Ukrainian flag. We do have some small static ports or something like that hidden in the livery, um, so Hapa hasn't forgotten. And when we look at the cockpit section itself, well, we have the cockpit windows with the window wipers. Now, I have a little bit of a nagging feeling that uh, the cockpit windows have been placed a little bit too high but when I have been looking at uh, pictures of the aircraft in real life I kind of had the same feeling so I'm, I'm very much willing to sport the idea that this is a little bit of a mind trick given the elaborate uh, livery but what do you think do you think Hapa has placed the cockpit windows correctly or are they too high let me know in the comments section below then the engine nacelles have been given the orange color of the sky up branding and have the silver leading edge as well some safety relevant markings printed on and of course also the Shakti Donets crest. And when we look at the physical detailing of these engines, I think Hapa has also here done a very lovely job, especially here from the front, very, very nice. You can see the engine fan blades. Then on the fuselage, just above the wings, we find the emergency exit has been printed on, and that leads us straight to the wings, which we should also take a closer look at. Starting over the top side, where we can see the different flaps, slats, and spoilers have been carved out very nicely, as well as have the marking for the emergency exit printed on. The underside of the wings offers us some more lovely physical detailing, and we also find the full registration code of the aircraft once more. But of course, the main highlight of these wings are the split scimitar winglets, which Harper is very, very good at pulling off. And also here with the sky up branding, they look lovely indeed. But then we can also take a quick look at the landing gear. That is the standard landing gear that Harper uses for all their 737s, which overall is, I think, quite all right. Um, you could argue that the front landing gear maybe is a little bit wide, but overall it still looks rather decent. But I am missing some printed details here at the front. And then last but not least, we do also have some doors to the cargo compartments printed on here at the back of the aircraft. And also here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Boeing 737-700 in the special Shakti Adonis football club livery of Sky Up Airlines from Harper Wings in scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? Well, quite frankly, I just have to admit flat out, I love this aircraft model. I love the livery. It's nice and elaborate, and Harper has done a great job in replicating it in their print. The physical detailing of the aircraft model is also great. I love the split scimitars. I wonder why Harper can't figure out to make nice winglets on the 737 MAX when they are clearly capable of making the much more um, nimble uh, split scimitar winglets. But hey, that's Harper for you. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is the placement of the cockpit windows, but as I say, this could very much be an optical effect from the livery, and I'm very much willing to go with that 
theory. But with all that said, I would also love to see Hapa making a standard livery aircraft model of Skyup Airlines in the future. But regardless of that happening or not, what we can say about this aircraft model is that I would absolutely say that it is worth having in one's collection. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome. With that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching, hope to see you soon again, I'm checking out. And Bye.